god, Barry just died. Rest in peace. Listen, you could have died with a cute wife, but you didn't want it, Barry. So, oh my god, wait, that was Joshua's dad. Oh my god, sorry, Joshua. Sorry for your loss. It's been great meeting you. Maybe we should go on a real date sometime. Uh, we literally just got married. I pr asked you out. I proposed to you, and we got married on the spot. Like, what do you mean you want to get to know me more? Like, we're literally a thing now. Oh my god, you know what she should do? She should woohoo because she hasn't done that in a while. So let's go, you know, let's see what this is all about. All right, Yucky, I'm going to have you go. First of all, why don't you pee really quickly? And then you're going to go to sleep because you're tired. And I'm pretty sure you have to work tomorrow. You do. Oh, what is wrong with his cooking? Why don't they like him? They have something against him, clearly. He looks excellent. Stop. No, but honestly, though, you're not lying. Like, he's kind of slaying this look. Like, I could never slay that shirt as hard as he's slaying it. So, I'll give that to him. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. That was a nice woohoo. That was quite gorgeous. Oh, here he goes. Cute. So, good progress. All right. Time for bed, everybody. Go to sleep. So, she is heartbroken from witnessing death. Who the hell died? She was sad about Barry? Girl, sorry for your loss, but like... He didn't want you. He did not want you, so sorry. Oh my god, she's not friends with her own daughter? Hello. Oh my god, we need to buy her a cane. All right, cute. So, alien is in the bathtub. Do they not sleep? Brain power. Aliens have one big brain. Big brains that require power. Power that can be harvested from delicious space rocks. Wait, they can eat them? <gasps> now I want to give them one. Here, I have four, five. Do they eat them? consume <gasps> okay I'm glad you had a nice meal of rocks anyways moving on <laughs> I've never played with aliens you guys I've never played with oh they're faithful well, no, m only Monica is faith uh, faithful. Technically, uh, Joshua cheated on his ex-girlfriend, Cricket. But that's so cute that Monica is faithful. See, she's a good Sim. She is a good Sim. She's our best heir so far. All right, so let's go ahead and have them get ready for the work day. He's going to go shower. I'm going to have you wake up, girl, because you know what? It's time for you to get ready for work. I think you work today. She does. Okay. Oh, should we have uh, Marie retire? She technically is, you know, at that age where she can retire now. Maybe we should just retire. She's heartbroken. It's Salt's birthday today. <gasps> Congrats, girl. You're going to age up. Wait, I'm excited to see if Salt is a big dog. Because Lassie was a small dog, which was cute or whatever. But I kind of want a big dog. Okay, so he is... At work. Let's suck up to Superior. She's at work too. Stories and reviews. I'm not going to do that. Well, let's test it out today. Maybe she can go to work or after work, they can go out to a restaurant and eat and then see if like, you know, she's nearly level 10 though. Should we just keep her going? But look, she's terrible. Does she work today? Starts in two days and two hours. All right. If we can get her logic skill up, um, then I guess so. So let's go ahead and have her. So let's just go have her practice chess. Yucky is up. I don't know why he's doing so bad at his job. Let's go have Yucky serve breakfast so he can keep practicing. We'll do pancakes today. Okay, so everybody's working on their own thing. Monica is working. Yucky's preparing food. He goes to work today. I don't know why he's doing so bad at work. He has everything great. I don't get it. Okay, so what are your traits, sir? Oh, he's a loner. He's disciplined, excitable, hopeless, romantic, and an angler. <gasps> angler! Please feed our fish. Oh, no! Who died? One of our fishes died. First Gabriella, and now this? Who's dead? We have Pinky, Patrick Star, Barbara, Sharpe, and Troy. Wait, who died then? Nobody died? Who is this? Oh no! Wait, who is that? Is that Patrick Star? Patrick Star, Barbara, 
Sharpay, Troy. Wait, so who just died? I'm very confused. Anyways, I don't remember. I guess they were not that great. <laughs> okay, so how's your logic skill, girl? Oh, Pinky. Rest in peace, Pinky. You know what though? Pinky was my least favorite. Just saying. They weren't as iconic, so. The way she has 63,000 lifetime rewards is kind of crazy. Could do long distance friend. Let's do mm, fast learner so that she can get finished with her career. Let's do, uh, I don't know. What do you want, girl? Steel bladder. Now you never get to pee yourself. So what's everybody up to? I mean, you guys can make out if you'd like. Oh my God, they can try for baby. Progression denied. <laughs> okay, let's heat of the moment kiss. Could you imagine Yaki getting pregnant by an alien? That would be kind of crazy. Okay, where are you? She's almost done with work. Is she gonna get a promotion? She is. Oh my God, look at him cooking. Thank you, Phoenix. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh, I'm gonna need you to get off the counter. Oh my God, why don't they go woohoo together? That'd be cute. Scan object, restore brain power. Okay, everybody's just kind of working on their skills right now, except for those two that are making out. Oh, never mind. He's gonna eat first. Carpool for Yucky Jr. will come in about an hour. Okay. Are you out of work yet? She's not. He's not. Oh, he wants to get a promotion, which you probably could. Okay, work hard. He might get a little stressed, but you know what? It's fine. Wait, so I want to take him um, on a movie date and then see if we can write a review about that. A few of the scientists down at the science facility have been observing some of Joshua Gilbert's various skills and have asked him to accept a position working in their lab. Who knows what they want with an outstanding soldier like Joshua, but they've offered him the fertilizer analysis. No, analyst. Job level four position in the science career. Should Joshua leave his current position, grunt level three? <gasps> Wait a minute, because he does look like a nerd. So I feel like him being a scientist would be kind of cute. I think we're going to change jobs. Like, I don't know, like, you know, like I think at the start I said, oh my God, he's in the military career, but it kind of gave like, he's just doing it because he doesn't know what else to do. So we're going to change our job. Cute. Uh we're now a scientist. No, oh, he's gonna be a beefy boy. We'll, we'll still let him work out. Oh my God, and then he can take care of the garden upstairs that's been dead for ages. It'll work out, we'll still have him work out. <laughs> I think scientists fit some more. I don't know, he doesn't seem like a military man. I feel like his father forced him to do that. He was like, no, that, that's this is what you're doing. But I mean, his lifetime wish is to be a deep sea diver. So it's like, you're not doing that, sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and I wonder if we can ask them out on a date, if we can still write a review. I feel like we should be able to. Phoenix still works too? Oh my God, cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our outfit. It's date night. They're going to be casual though. So let's change outfit to every day. Oh my God, the skills. That's all right. That's all right. Review game with date. Dang it, we missed it. Oh, we know. Attend game in two days. Okay, we gotta remember to do that. We gotta remember to do that. What else can we like review? The bookstore? <gasps> Wait, collect money. Thousand simoleons there, thousand simoleons here. Girl, we're rich. Can we review a movie? We can't. Review game. Two days at 3 p.m. What else can we go review? The science facility where he works. Here, let's just try going to the diner and eating here and then We'll see. Oh wait, next show at 5 p.m. Okay, we'll wait. Maybe we can write a review on the movie or something. Girl, please. Please! Can you guys just like hang out for a little bit like without doing your own thing? I know you're very independent, both of you, but like, come on now. They'll just be like flirty to each other or whatever. I mean, I guess she could talk about work. Oh my God, let's announce her promotion. They're so cute. I love them. Look, he's so proud of us. He is just so proud of us. Like, we gotta be good friends, you know? Like, we normally get married to people and then we don't talk to them for, like, weeks. Did you know that Monica Green is filthy rich? Who the hell is talking about us? Because why is that any of your business? 
Okay, it's about time for us to leave, so let's go ahead and head off. So let's go here with date. So if we can't write a uh, review about the movie, it's fine. At least they had a cute date. Hurry, the movie has started. Okay. Oh, review movie with date. Yes. Let's re or let's watch somber bloomings. What is that? Weeping with irony. Balloonist, I have loved. Let's go with somber, whatever the hell. Oh my god, wait, this is cute. So with this career, we're gonna be forced to like go out and like get out in town and like, I don't know, just go do more things. So that's kind of exciting. Not gonna lie, I thought that would be a scary movie, but it doesn't sound like it. Sounds like a chick flick. She wants to go eat at a restaurant. Well, hold on, girl. We're watching a movie right now. Cute. She wants to go eat at a restaurant now. So I'm confused. Did she already do it or do we have to go home? Here, let me go check on the laptop or I guess computer, whatever. Writing. Oh, cute. Okay, so let's go out to eat really quickly. We'll take him to the diner. You know, I don't think she's ever been to eat here. Oh, she can't come here with her date. Eat here, review restaurant. Oh, I guess not. All right, Joshua, sorry. Work calls, okay. You gotta go home on your own. Oh my God, I forgot about Salt. Happy birthday, Salt. Salt is aging up. Oh, she's so cute. Is she gonna be a big dog? I'm scared. Oh, she's a big dog. She's so cute. She's so cute. She is, look at how big she is. Oh, she's adorable. Oh my God. She's so cute. Oh, we gotta stay for dessert, girl. I love her. We're gonna need a bigger dog bed. Oh my god, hi Phoenix, welcome home. What do you be doing for a living, sir? I know he's in the music career, but like, ooh, he's a music talent scout. Okay, so what are we at for our job? Her logic is still so poopy and she needs to give more lectures. <gasps> so we'll have to work on that. So let's go ahead and do the review before I forget. So writing, write a positive review on the movie because it seems to me like she enjoyed it. It was a chick flick, I was right. And then we're gonna do, should we do a bad review on the diner or should we do a good review on the diner? Should we spice things up a bit? Look at her being a little journalist, that's so cute. I've never done the, the journalist career to level 10. I've started it before, but I've never completed it. So this should be very fun. So she is writing the, a good review on the movie that we w watched with Joshua. Oh my God, this takes kind of long, huh? To write the review. We're gonna we're gonna write a bad review on the diner. This is kind of cute. So now we're writing a bad review on the restaurant. Cute. So she wrote a negative review. I'm excited to see what the restaurant thinks about that. So let's go have her. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Okay, you know what? She will. She's gonna take a shower in the morning instead because please don't take our spot. That's kind of crazy. I'm gonna need you to move, girl. Please get out the way, Salt. Wait, I love Salt. Okay, go pee, please. All right, so let's go to sleep. Cute. What is everybody else doing? See, look, she's sad about Barry dying. That was her true love. Well, after Ricky, I guess. I don't know. I feel like her and Ricky were like... They were lovers, but she wasn't like in love and love. You know what I mean? Why are we waking up? What is going on here? Oh, the gnome turned on the TV. Thank you, sir. You know what? While they're up, let's go ahead and do a risky woohoo. On this note, I think we're gonna end the stream here. Where did belly button fluff even come from? Because I've never had fluff in my belly button personally. This is where the game starts to get a little scary because why are you doing that? I'm kind of nervous, but you know what? It is what it is. Anyways, everybody's going to work except for her because she's just doing her own thing, clearly. Girl said statue <laughs> challenge. Um, do you need some help? Okay, maybe let's reset her. Hopefully she doesn't break the entire game. Okay. All right, she's back to normal. She's a little scared, but that's okay. Uh-oh, Monica wrote a negative piece on the local business, but misquoted one of the intervie interviewees. What is that? This caused a loss of credibility in the article and in the office, and an apology will get more press. Bad for the company. But if Monica doesn't, the interviewee will probably be very upset. Should Monica apologize or ignore the error? What do we do? I mean, listen, maybe you just didn't speak 
um clearly so like she thought you said something else you know what I mean or like maybe they didn't emphasize like what they were saying so you know ignore gaslight them period all right so that's what we're gonna do so the misquoted sim is very upset with Monica but at least the company doesn't lose face and you know what good for you Monica because listen everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days um, and that's what a great legend once said. So, yeah. So, our house is pretty cute. Uh, the cat keeps tearing everything up. But you know what? At this point, I'm kind of used to it. Okay. Kadef, or whatever the heck his name is, is a gamer. So, that's kind of cool. All right. So, Yucky and this man, I guess they can get married. So, let's go. Should we just throw a wedding for them? Screw it. And then move them out? We could just do that. So, let's go get engaged. I don't think they're engaged. Are they? I don't think so. Romantic, embrace. Let's ask him out on a date. And again, we're taking it kind of slow with Monica. I want her to... Well, no, we actually started trying for a baby with Monica um, and uh, Ron Weasley. So, yeah, we did risky, but so far it has not been working. She has not had any babies. So, oh my God, my couch. How dare you? Who the hell did that? Anyways, we're gonna go out on a date. Yeah, so he's just our boyfriend. So let's ask him out on a date. Oh my god, no! We have to go to work? Here, let's call off. Because you know what? Love is more important than work. Let's take one day off. But yeah, um, I love Yucky's makeover. I think I did such a great job with him. He just looks like a very cool chef. Like, I imagine him having his own TV show one day. Alright, so let's go ahead and ask out on a date. And then we're gonna go get engaged to our alien husband. So let's go get engaged to our alien love. Should I take him to the nice place? I kind of want to save this for another gen. But I mean, you know what? This is cute. Or we could go out in the middle of the desert since he is an alien. He probably likes like empty spots. Ooh, we could get engaged in the middle of all of these things. The wind turbines. Honestly, that's kind of a cute move. Or we could also go... We could get engaged in the dried up lake because... You know, like it's quite fabulous here. I think this is it because maybe this reminds our alien husband of his world, if you will. Should we take him out to eat first? Probably, actually. Wait, but we can't go out to eat because we literally asked for the day off. Are they going to cuss at us if we go? Let's try it out. We might as well. Let's eat outside with date. So we're going to go over to our job. Who knows? Maybe we requested this off like months ago. Okay. And we were like, listen, I'm actually going to propose to my boyfriend so anyways oh my god now i'm taking our car but you know what i'll lend it to you yucky i'll lend it to you was that a camel all right so let's go eat outside so we're just gonna you know we're having a nice date we could honestly get engaged here but i kind of like the idea of like you know it making making it seem like we're in outer space like where he's from or whatever um oh man Anyways, okay, let's go eat everybody. Oh, see, he's thinking of marriage. You saw that? He had a little ring. Who the hell are you? Oh, never mind. I thought you were cute for a second. Sorry. Oh, anyways, I guess we jumped over here. So what are you doing, girl? I'm going to have her. Oh, okay. She needs to go and write more stories and reviews. So honestly, she can go review the restaurant should we review this restaurant or should we go somewhere else i mean we could go review a movie Where, what else can we review is it just those two that kind of sucks i mean we might as well just go review the restaurant again why the hell not or yeah why not she's gonna go review the restaurant because she needs to work on that again she's in the journalism career oh my god she's about to age up uh, so we need to start having babies oh my god yucky green no way uh, did we get our food for free oh no we got a discount cute Okay, so Yucky is out here eating with his lover. Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest proposal ever. Oh my god, everybody in her family, you know, like look at the kids. They're just really out here. Mind your business. Mind your business, girl. Do not talk to us. Anyways, so we're eating some lovely pie and then Kadef is eating goopy carbonara. So that's cute. Not her talking to us, ma'am. This is a date, please. All right, so, oh my God, look at him. He's like gonna look at outer space. He misses his house, you know, like he loves Yucky or whatever, but like he really just misses his house. So, oh my God, so the sun is setting. So let's go ahead and give him a hug or whatever so that he can stop looking through the telescope and then we gotta take him. We gotta take him to the place where we're gonna propose to him. 
Ooh. All right, gorgeous friend. Come over here and follow me. Oh my God, Antoine is still in the military going strong. Good for you, Antoine. Antoine is our cousin. Oh my God, look, she is starstruck. Exactly. Exactly, Yucky. Oh my God, Clayton's impressive performance and now uh, earn him a promotion to campaign intern. Good for you. I like how he's... Listen, isn't that cute? Maggie's lifetime wish was to be in the military. Also, Maggie died again. For those of you who don't remember, she drowned. Um, and then, so that's cute because her son Antoine is in the military. Um, and then Miranda, we said she was going to be like a, a politician or whatever. And Clayton ended up being like a cute little politician as well. Can we not go over here? Go here with date. Hurry, we're going to miss the sunset. All right, gorgeous. We're going to propose right over freaking here. This is, um, yeah, I mean, it's cute or whatever. So this will do. Please hurry. The sunset is going down. Please, we missed the sunset. But you know what? This is still cute or whatever. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. Look. Uh, the moon is out. How cute. Uh, Yucky's engaged. That's adorable. Here, let's go collect this and collect that. And then we're going to give it to him as a gift and be like, listen, like this is where this is a little, you know, souvenir from where we got engaged or whatever. Oh, my God. Not him going on his phone immediately after and telling all his besties. All right. So let's go ahead and. Did she just slide over here? Here, we're going to get them cut and then give it to him because I feel like that would be cuter. Anyways, we're leaving because that lady scared the hell out of me. So let's go home and tell the family all the great news. Oh, did Monica go out? Oh, she did. She did. Okay, so now we need to come home and write a review. Oh, girl, who the hell peed? Also, we got rid of Bone Hilda, so we might need to get a butler because our house is going downhill little by little. We got rid of Bone Hilda because she was glitch city and it was just not working out. And you know what? It was about time she went out to live her life or whatever, so. Oh, who the hell broke this? Aren't you, like, good at stuff? He is! Uh, oh, my God. He can fix our laptop. Please do not die. Please do not die. All right, so Yucky just got engaged to his alien uh, hubby. Oh, my God. Look at him. He's a good man. He's a good man. Um, and let's see. What else do we have to do? Okay, Monica went to sleep because she's over it. She's over today. Um, so I guess we're not going to tell anybody. I mean, I guess we can tell our mom, although she is going to sleep. So you know what? Maybe we just won't tell anybody. Oh, my God. Oh, she wants to see Monica get married. That is so cute. That is so cute. Marie wants to see Monica get married. I love that. Oh, my God. Marie is such a sweetie. I love her so much. It's going to be sad when she dies. But you know what? That's how the legacy works. All right, gorgeous. So our hubby, he is our husband, right? Oh, no, we're engaged, girl. This is kind of crazy. This feels weird to not rush Monica into having babies. Like, I feel like we're going to, like, that's not good. You know what I mean? All right, so let's go to sleep. And then we got to save the game. Who the hell are you? I know, like, Marie was trying for a baby the day she aged up. She did? Wait, I don't remember. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Yeah, as soon as she turned into a young adult, like we were trying. Who the hell is Cody? Who is this? All right, interesting. I don't know who that is. Well, I feel like, I don't know. This is a nice change because, listen, she's getting pretty far in her career. She's a professional blogger. Wait, did she get another freaking promotion? I don't even know anymore. Okay, so she wants to improve her logic skill. Oh, we need somebody to turn this rain off. Here, I'm going to have you do it, sir. Please turn it to sunny because every time it's raining in my game, the game crashes. So do we work today again? She works so much. And you know what? This is why she doesn't have kids because she works so freaking much. And you know what? We're retiring, Marie. I don't like her going to work anymore. Girl, you've done it. You've lived your life. Oh, wait, no. I think Ambino said, no, you should actually finish it because she's almost at level 10. But she's doing so bad. Her logic skill is like non-existent, friend. Like she's just not there anymore. All right. She needs to get to level 10 and then she can retire because then we'll get more like bigger checks or whatever. So that's what we're going to do. Monica, good morning. So I'm guessing we're going to marry off 
Yucky and the alien before Monica and Ron Weasley. Um, oh my God, it's Joshua's birthday. Wait, how old are you turning, sir? <gasps> he's going to be an adult. Uh, I keep forgetting he's so much older than us. Well, not so much, but like, you know, pretty older. Pretty older. Anyways, whatever that means. Go to work, friend. Sorry, you got to push through it. I know you're old. I know your bones are hurting. I know you're like ready to retire. Oh my God. Hold on. Slay. What is this outfit? <gasps> Girl, she said principal. Principal. Look at her. Gorgeous. Love her outfit. All right. She still got it. It is Wednesday today. So on Saturday, we're going to marry Yucky and Kadef. Maybe next Saturday. That's kind of long though. Who should we marry this Saturday? Should we marry Monica or should we marry Yucky? Who do you guys want to marry first? Because if we marry Monica, then we can actually like try for baby. You know what I mean? Who the hell are you? Is this still the same man that was here? Cody. What are you looking like, Cody? All right. Anyways. Yucky, let's have fun. Okay. Puts her clip in extensions for work. Exactly. Exactly. Why the hell do you keep grading your boss's paperwork? You are the boss. She's losing it. All right, so she's going to give lectures because she needs that in order to succeed in her career. <sighs> You're almost there, girl. Please don't get demoted. Anything but that. Um, maybe marry Monica Saturday, but have a small wedding tomorrow for Yucky. We could do that, too. We could do that, too. Or we could we could marry Yucky on Friday. I feel like some people get married on Fridays because the venues are usually cheaper, even though the venue in question is our damn house. So, you know, there's that. I don't know. Like, I don't like you, sir. Like, what do you do? Oh, he does work. He does work. Okay. Oh my God. He's sick. He might die. He's old. We're working hard, I guess. Here, I want her to practice writing at her job. You're not even working. What the hell are you doing? Are you missing your work? Oh no, he's not. He needs to get better at gardening, actually. So maybe let's do that really quickly. Our garden went to absolute poop after Madison died. Like nobody took care of it. Nobody. So, you know what? We found our new green thumb man. Even though, you know, maybe I should have kept him in the military because it is what it is, though. It is what it is. I've made mistakes. I have made mistakes. That's fine. Who is sneezing like that? I'm going to need you to leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait, what are we doing? Maybe one of them could get eloped at the courthouse or a cute spot. That would be kind of cute. I could so see Monica eloping. All right. I'm down for that. Eugenia uh, would like to know if Phoenix would like to go on a date. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thank you, though, for the offer. He's married. No. Who the hell? Oh, my God. Not Alexander calling us. That's that's her ex. I forgot about him. I forgot we dated him. What is wrong with you, girl? get it together oh okay monica's home okay so that would be cute then why don't we get monica married on wait but i wanted to download a, a dress for her oh we did download a dress the one that i used for martha may we can use that for her okay so we can elope her oh it is spring okay where do we go get married do you guys want to get married at the pier although it's kind of ugly <laughs> like it's very ugly maybe this shark could be our witness you know that's kind of ugly. We could go there, though. Or we could go... Where's the music, by the way? We could also go... Oh, we could get married on the golf course and be, like, cute or whatever. Mm, it's kind of ugly. We could go get married right here. Like, just the two of them. That would be so cute. Like, right over here in front of the waterfall. Oh, yeah! That would be cute! Like, Monica and Ron uh, doesn't tell anyone. Like, Jim and Pam from the office. That would be cute! They could go right here with this as their backdrop. I'm down for that. I am down for that. All right, I'm down. Should we throw her a bachelorette party though? Do we even have friends? I don't even know. Oh my God, Alexander is our friend for some reason, even though he's our ex, but you know what? That's kind of cute or whatever. I mean, we got coworkers. I mean, we could throw one. Who the hell are you? Kanisha Shaw. I don't remember her. I don't know why we don't like her. Oh, yeah, this is Cricket. I know why we don't like you. That's that's Ron Weasley's ex. I don't think you do bachelor parties when you elope. Oh, maybe Yucky could have one. That's true. That's true. Okay, we won't do one for her. They're, they're just more low-key. You know what I mean? Like, they really just want... They're more chill, okay? Like, 
why do we want to give a gift to her so that works so that's what we're gonna do they're gonna elope so very cute very adorable what the hell are you doing please get to work on your writing so write a positive review on the restaurant why the heck not they're so low-key just two nerds exactly they're cute though they're cute i like them both you know, I'm excited for him. I feel like he's cute. I want to see them have babies, though. Like, I'm very nervous about these jeans. Oh, my God. She's home. Welcome, girl. So, did you do anything good at work today? Oh, wow. Not a whole lot. So, even though she stinks, I'm going to have her work on her logic skill. All right. So, we have a lot to do. What do I do first? I don't know. So, first things first. Okay, Monica's working on that. You know what? We need to get him a gardening book. What do we got? I'm pretty sure we have like a gardening book. We have gardening volume three. Um, all right. Does he have any gardening skills? No. We might have to go buy a book. So let's just go get a book. I feel like that's the easy way uh, to do it. So buy our property, 20,000 simoleons. I mean, we could, we're kind of rich. We got 44,000 simoleons, which is kind of crazy all right let's go shop for books we need to get him a gardening book let's throw yucky he doesn't really want a bachelor party though all right let me do this really quickly first of all let me save let me save and then what we're gonna do is there's a lounge that comes in lucky palms uh but it doesn't have like the bar if you will like it has like a fake bar or whatever like the juice bar that comes in like base game so i like to change it to an actual bar and then i'm gonna do like a little dance floor so that we have somewhere fun to go because listen i'm kind of sick of being home all the time all right cute so we have saved we're good yes oh my god we're not gonna do exclusive access because you know what i want it to be crazy so we're gonna do a bachelor party i was about to say why the hell is it not showing up and you know what we're gonna do it today so we're gonna invite timothy i don't know who the hell you are we're gonna invite this girl i think she works with monica we're gonna invite oh my god let's invite alexander which is monica's ex just for the fun of it let's invite miranda our auntie let's invite jonas our auntie's husband oh my god clayton our freaking cousin where is adam and Andrew? No, not Andrew. Antoine. Antoine. I always forget. We're having a bachelor party. Woohoo! All right. Yucky is having a bachelor party. He just got engaged to his alien fiance. So this is gorgeous. They're going to have a very cute wedding or whatever in the future. So Desert Diner is super popular thanks to Monica's review. No one goes anymore because they can't get in. Oh my God, that's kind of crazy. The power that Monica has. Cute. So we have a bachelor party to get ready for. So let's go upstairs because for some reason that mirror down there does not work. And let's go check self up or yeah, check self out. Oh no, we got to go. Okay, never mind. We're going girl. Too late. <laughs> We're going. I'm excited. Oh my God, the first guest is there. Absolutely not. The way nobody else is going, though, I kind of want Monica and Ron to go. But also, if you're wondering why I call Joshua Ron, it's because he reminds me of Ron Weasley. So anyways, we're here. We're here. Man, this place is bopping. Popular spot for the night located. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. All right. So I thought we said dress to impress, girl. Like, what are we doing here? Oh my God, Alexander's here. So he's Monica's ex. They dated in high school. So that's kind of cute. I mean, he is kind of cute. He looks like Troy Bolton a little bit. Anyways, we're here. Should I bring Monica over here with Joshua? I don't know. Oh my God, gorgeous. So we're at Yucky's bachelor party. I feel like Joshua should at least be here. You know what I mean? Where is he? Here, he's going to come over here. And should we have his fiance come here too? I feel like it's only fair. You know, like maybe he can just, he doesn't really have friends. So I feel like he should come over. All right. So here's our cousin, Clayton. And then here's our other cousin. He just walked in. This is Antoine. That's Maggie's kid. Rest in peace, Maggie. Anyways. All right. So the whole gang's here. Joshua has made it. Oh my God. There is no freaking bartender. What a bunch of baloney. I wanted them to get drunk. All right. Is everybody dancing? Where is everybody? Where's Yucky? Oh my God, girl, the party is going. Yes. Uh, oh my God, how fun. Look at everybody dancing. Uh, show off your moves. 
Here, let's ask Joshua to actually make the toast because, like, he literally lives with us, right? So, yeah, Yucky is iconic. He's iconic just like his, uh, his uncle, Yucky. So this is not the regular Yucky, by the way. This is Yucky Jr., um, named after his other blonde uncle, Yucky. Who the hell is this girl? Anyways. All right, so Joshua is going to go ahead and do a toast. Oh! I honestly don't feel comfortable doing that. Ask someone who knows you better. Oh my god. Thanks, brother-in-law. Thanks. Who the hell do we know? Should we ask our own fiance <laughs> to make the toast? Can he do that? No. Who the hell do we know? We really don't know a lot of people. That's mean. That's annoying. Nobody is going to be able to make a toast for us. Here, let's ask our freaking... Who the hell are you? Oh, we can't even talk to him. Who the hell are you? Timothy? Here, let's greet. <laughs> His blondness was only revealed when he reached puberty. Oh yeah, that's right. This Yucky Jr. was, um, this Yucky Jr. Oh my god, Pepper! Happy birthday, girl! Alright, we'll see you later. You celebrate by yourself. Alright, I guess. Listen. Murray's uh, husband is there. He got it. Who the hell is this man? Amy Lancaster w wants to know if Yucky Jr. would like to go on a date. Uh, no, Amy. We're literally having our bachelor party. Oh, my God. Not the stripper. Yes. Uh, can somebody please toast? Please. Here, let's ask Antoine. Okay, everybody's just dancing. Oh, not this man following us here. Girl, you were literally at our house. That's freaking weird. Oh, my God. They're going in. Wait, is Monica? Or not Monica. Where's Miranda? Is she here? We invited her. Oh my god, not the paparazzi. Oh, Miranda's here. Yes. Uh, look at her. She's an elder. Oh my god, yes, girl. The alien could do it. You missed it? Oh, really? He's literally our fiance, though. Does that count? Oh, ask to make toast, period. It's Joshua's birthday. Oh my god, girl, I forgot about you. Oh my god. Not him stealing the show. Anyways, happy birthday, Joshua. I forgot. <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess a two and one. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. The pigtails are back. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> 